Hi, I'm Sylvester Boyd, and I hope this video find you and yours in the best of spirits. As I stated at the beginning of the year, we at New United Motors, we would be relieved of our duties at that company. That time has come. As of April 1st, we were separated. We are now unemployed. Some of us are faring we're just faring, okay? Um, sending out resumes, trying to establish a new source of revenues to take care of our responsibilities and our duties, families, house notes, food for our children, commitments that we have made, car notes, commitments that we have made for our children and their educations. Those things are ongoing and we have to make arrangements to continue to honor those commitments. For some of us, it's, it's, really, it's really difficult. It's real difficult. It's real difficult. And um, my prayers go out to those that are experiencing those difficulties. And I pray God's mercy is with them. But we're going to make it. We are resilient. That is the beauty of the American dream. You can get knocked on your back and you always, you always have that chance to recover. God bless those at New United Motors and I do wish them the best. And I pray that providence is good to them. But today, there have been a lot of issues going on in this country. And I just wanted to, to kind of chime in on one particular issue today. And that issue is immigration. Immigration. The war of the flags. As I stated before, I think it was either in a blog, I think it was in a blog, that all the illegal aliens that are here now they will get amnesty. They will be granted amnesty, no doubt about it. I can see no reason it going any other way. You say, Sylvester, why, why, why are you saying that? What you, what you mean they're going to get amnesty? Congress is going to vote on that, and we got to protect our borders. That is very true. But you have other variables that are involved here. This people out of Mexico they seem to act together and they act as one. Those that are citizens here, that have been born and raised here, they probably, some of them probably don't know nothing about Mexico, but because they are Mexican and they understand their heritage and their roots and their relatives, they will back them and they're gonna fight with them. You have those that came into the country uh, legally and you have, I've heard some of them say that they are against illegal aliens too but you don't know what they're talking about in the privacy of their homes with their family and friends that are from Mexico. But that's neither here nor there. Um, that's human nature. That's the course of human events. But you got to understand why they're going to get amnesty, why amnesty is going to be granted here. These people out of Mexico, this long relationship that Mexico has had with America and Mexico, their friends, their family, their loved ones, their lovers. They live in the same neighborhoods. They're in business together. All of these things you have to take into consideration. That's why this is not an easy decision to make. That's why Congress, our Congress and our government will continue to drag their feet on this issue. Yeah, they know that there's a hole in our border. But economics always rule out over safety. That's just a natural occurrence that has always been in our culture here. Those of you that work in the corporate environment or that have jobs out there that sometimes production is, 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 is like being pushed and safety is kind of pushed to the side to get production done. Case in point, the oil spill out there in the Gulf, from all reports that I'm getting, it was about production. 
and safety was pushed on the back burner. Well, we have the same thing going on here on the border. Safety of the body, of the whole country, of all the citizens here are being put at risk for the desire to appease those citizens that are coming to this country and for those that want to make the dollar now those that are making a good living off this now who cares about safety so what a few terrorists might sneak through and drop a few bombs but the economics of it will probably outweigh those that lose because probably those that are gaining from this they're not going to lose anything the terrorists they're gambling that the terrorist is going to miss them that may sound cruel I know it does it sounds cruel that they are banking that they are not going to get hit and business as usual we can let that hole stay open and we can let it flow and God 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 please don't let anything happen because of all of this Congress will drag its feet amnesty will be granted and it is an economic plus for the US it is because as I walk around I see immigrants spending their monies, taking care of their families, renting houses, buying cars, and supporting the grocery stores. That's an economic uplift. That is a plus. But, like I, but there again, with all the things that are going on in this country, terrorism and all that, is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be worth it? Is it? I hope so. 